Hey everyone, it's Pam. So today I have another sunscreen review, so let's get started. So the sunscreen I will be reviewing is the Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen SPF 50 for sensitive skin. And just some basic uh, facts about the sunscreen. You can purchase it on Amazon and at Walmart. The Blue Lizard uh, sunscreen for sensitive skin is available in SPF 30, the three ounces, uh, which comes in a squeezy tube. Also, you can get the SPF 30, five ounces um, in this type of bottle. Then you can get the SPF 30, 8.75 ounces uh, in the regular bottle like this. You can also get the SPF 30 in the wet, in the one gallon bottle with the pump, which is 128 ounces, and get SPF 50 uh, in 0.5 ounces, and that's in the form of a stick. And you can get the SPF 50 in the three ounce squeezy like tube. Um, and you can find information about those prices depending on the ounces on the Blue uh, Lizard website, which I will link in the description box. But the one I have is the five ounces, which is 148 milliliters. And I did purchase it on Amazon. You can purchase it on the Blue Lizard website for $19.49 for the five ounces. However, I purchased mine on Amazon and uh, it was cheaper on Amazon. Amazon and also on um, in Walmart you can purchase it uh, for a cheaper price so this sunscreen is for sensitive skin and it is a mineral sunscreen and it has their typical um, smart bottle technology which means that the bottle will turn blue in harmful UV light and uh, if you carry it with you outdoors the bottle will turn like a very deep ocean blue type of color. I did try the one for the face, which is SPF 30. And initially, that's the one that I actually purchased on Amazon, but I got this one accidentally. Uh, so that's that. And this is SPF 50. Now some details about the packaging. It's the standard blue lizard packaging. It's plastic, it has a, a little um, cap. You open it and you can dispense the product by squeezing the bottle. Um, the label is on the front and then there is a label with directions on the back. Now, there are no chemical active ingredients in this sunscreen. Uh, it is a mineral sunscreen and it does contain 10% of zinc oxide and 8% of titanium uh, dioxide and it is resistant of water and sweat for 80 minutes and after that you should reapply it it is paraben free and fragrance free which is the reason that i decided to purchase another blue lizard sunscreen because they are uh, fragrance free and fragrance can really be aggressive <clears throat> to the skin and, and can cause a lot of underlying skin issues. Also on the Blue Lizard website, it says that this sunscreen uh, is good to protect the reefs because it contains no oxybenzone or oxen, octi, uh, I'm not quite sure how to say it, but I'll um, put it in the video somewhere. Now the directions on the website, um, which you can also find the directions on the back of the bottle, are to shake very well and you apply 15 minutes before sun exposure. You reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or of sweating and you reapply after towel drying and reapply every two hours. Uh, my skin type is, I would say, normal to dry especially in the winter time and I do have very very sensitive skin and I have uh, rosacea so for my skin type I do moisturize every day and I moisturize before applying the sunscreen this sunscreen uh, you do have to be careful when you squeeze product out because the bottle itself the cap is quite uh, large so it can dispense a lot of product um, and that is an issue that I mentioned um, in my review for the face sunscreen. So the way that I usually apply it is that I squeeze an amount on my hand 
and as you can see this is just after one squeeze so this sunscreen does leave a white cast initially and it can be intimidating but just make sure you blend it in and the key to blending is applying small amounts at a time so you know grab some and then blend it in and you see the white cast it will go away as long as you continue to blend and this is how it looks so just shake it up like the instructions say and then as I mentioned, the hole is quite large, so I typically just try to squeeze this much for the first time. And then I just kind of draw it onto my face and blend it in. Looks, then I grab the rest and again apply it. And I will put some on my neck and then blend it into the skin. Um, if I have too much on my hands, I'll just rub it um, on my arms. I will go in and squeeze more product out. And you're supposed to apply more than a little bit or just like a pea-sized amount. Uh, wherever or whomever you've heard that a little goes a long way for sunscreen. Uh, that's not correct. You need a lot of sunscreen for it. For it to be effective but overall you should make sure you have the appropriate amount of sunscreen uh, so yeah even if I'm just like in the car or walking or whatever I think it's very important to make sure you're always protecting your skin this is how it looks as you can see the white cast is like very mild it's intimidating at first but once you blend it in, it really disappears. And um, yeah, the finish is not matte. It is more of a dewy finish. Um, the redness that I do have right now, that's just because I've been blending it in uh, quite aggressively. And I do have sensitive skin. And regardless if I just like touch my face generally or even tug at it a little bit, or even if I am very gentle with it, my skin just easily turns red, but it's not because it's reacting to the sunscreen side note. So yeah, this is how it looks. Also, it doesn't sting my eyes. I do have very sensitive eyes and I do wear contact lenses. Just make sure you do not apply it in your eye, but I will apply it underneath my eyes. And um, yeah, it doesn't sting. When I sweat, the drip and the my oils mixed with the sunscreen does not cause my skin or my eyes to have any reaction um the finish is more of a semi dewy finish it isn't dry and it definitely is not a matte sunscreen there is a bit of oil that you will um feel but it's not an oil that will make your skin feel like slick or really make it seem like that typical sunscreen oily look um compared to the face sunscreen uh this is more dewy the face sunscreen is more matte however the face one does blend into the skin a bit more quickly you can wear it under makeup it sits well under makeup it doesn't leave a white cast it doesn't clump or pill and it definitely doesn't start like rubbing off i know some some sunscreens don't necessarily mix with all types of moisturizers but with the moisturizer that i do use which is the CeraVe lotion it mixes very well um, so I do not have any issue with the sunscreen pilling or clumping. Well, I am currently wearing it underneath my makeup. Just make sure that you let the sunscreen um, sit a few minutes before applying your makeup. But that's just something I typically try to do whenever I do wear makeup. I try to let my skincare um, rest on my skin for a few minutes before moving on to the makeup portion. I definitely recommend it. It's a sunscreen that you can reapply very easily and you can travel with it and and carry it in your backpack if you're hiking or you can use it if you're going to the beach or you can use it on a daily basis uh, for me this is more of an everyday sunscreen you can use it all over your body however I don't necessarily recommend that because of the price there are different alternatives you can use for the rest of your body like the um, uh, copper tone uh, baby spray sunscreen 
I will leave my sunscreen playlist down below so you can look at those videos if you want more detailed information on sunscreens that I recommend for outdoors for body use that will probably be more bang for your buck but as an everyday sunscreen I totally recommend it I think it's very gentle and I do recommend it for anyone who has sensitive skin or anyone who's just looking for a sunscreen to try I think if you have oily skin I'm not sure how you would react to it um, if you have very very oily I do recommend trying the blue lizard sunscreen for the face that's SPF 30 and I will link my review for that one down below so those are my thoughts on the sunscreen I hope it was helpful if you have any questions comments concerns or points of debate please let me know in the description box or in the comment section down below and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching bye